Hi everyone, this is Heidi Hancock with Double Magenta Intuitive Energy Healing, and this is your soul message for February 2019. So the energy that we have uh, moving through this month is heart energy, and it's the heart in action. So the figure eight pattern that's moving this month is through the heart and out the left and right arm, and it's going in a horizontal pattern like this. Um, the energy that that's calling us into, um, into balance and into awareness is the left and right, the masculine and the feminine. So I'm sure you've noticed that we don't live in a very balanced world. Um, with the patriarchy, it's very male dominated, very masculine. That doesn't have to be, um, a male female thing. Masculine and feminine energy are in all of us. And so we're all kind of getting a fine tuning this month of this energy to smooth it out and um, kind of soften the edges of this energy that moves back and forth to bring us into balance. Because the way that we need to shift and alter this world going forward is to come into balance. We can't go from patriarchy to matriarchy. We have to come into balance so that um, everyone is equal and everyone is loved and everyone is valued and that is when we will have peace and happiness and honoring the earth and each other. So we have this beautiful positive energy moving through this month to help support with that. So a couple things to notice. One is the energy when I tuned in as it first comes in at the kind of end of January and right at the beginning of February, it's going to feel a little bit unsettled for folks because this is not a balance that we're used to having. And so one thing that I really noticed is when the energy comes in right at the beginning, it can be a little bit off-putting. And so if you haven't listened to the January message, I would go back and listen to that after this and incorporate some of those things into February because as this energy starts moving and it might be a little bit off-putting and ungrounding, you're going to want to come in and do some energy that's going to help you stabilize too. So some of those things, some of those ideas are going to be meditation, um, chanting, which we're going to do today instead of um, guided meditation, and um, yoga practice, exercise, walking, writing. It can be anything. Just pick something and do it every day because you're gonna want something that helps ground the energy that's moving in. And then the other thing that you're gonna to wanna to focus on is doing something with your hands. And that's why we are going to chant. Today I'm gonna to play the ukulele as a um, expression of this. And then we're gonna sing as an expression of what's on our heart, moving it out into the world. Because what we wanna do this month is externalize what's on the heart. So. For years and years and years, people have been, you know, shut down, quiet, um, unaware of their gifts, afraid of their gifts, not wanting to let others see that for fear of judgment, rejection, whatever it is. And we're done with that. We need to let that go. We need to come into our authentic selves, be who we are, and we really need everyone at the table giving their gifts in order to create a new balanced world um, that will support us and sustain us going forward. So we want to externalize that. So what really came to me was, oh, we're not going to do a guided meditation this month. We're going to do a chant. We're going to do a mantra. So the mantra is Om Shri Ram J Ram J J Ram. And we're going to say that four times. And then it's Sita Ram Sita Ram Sita Ram. And we're going to do that four times. So OM is like a universal sound. It's like the sound of universal love, the universal energy. You hear it a lot in um, yoga, they use it. Um, Shri is like a designation of honor. It's like Sir, Madam, Lord, um, you know, Great One. And then Ram is the kind of Lord as light in the masculine and Sita is Lord as light in the feminine. And Ram and Sita were married and so um, I looked up the definition of this mantra just to see, you know, kind of what it said. And, you know, it, it didn't really work for me. I'll just say what it feels like for me when I first heard this, and I learned this just a couple weeks ago at a women's retreat. Um, thanks, Lou Selena, if you're watching. And um, so 
when I think of Ram and Sita, when I was doing the chant myself and feeling it, it feels like a dance between the masculine and feminine coming together. So the guided meditation part of it, I would like you to use it and think of it as a meditation still because chanting is a physical uh, meditation. If you can close your eyes with it and sing, you can do it in the shower, in the car, you know, whatever it is with this video, like get the tune in your head and really work on using it because it has several qualities. Um, one is just clearing and cleaning out your system. You'll feel the vibration in your body when you're done and you can feel that you've had a, like an energy kind of purge or, or clearing. It also helps to open the channel between the heart and the throat so that you can express more freely what's on your heart. And um, But what I want you to think about in as part of the meditation is imagine your, like your double helix um, DNA strands up your spine interweaving. And it's almost as if, you know, think about when you're doing the mantra that you're, you're weaving them together. It's almost like you're sewing your spine up together so that the masculine and feminine can come into better balance. So um, I'll do it a few times through and then um, we'll end and just let yourself feel the vibration of it in your body. So let's go ahead and close eyes just for a second to kind of center. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Bring your attention down into your belly. And let's just do two more like that, inhaling through the nose. Down into the belly. Exhaling out the mouth. And one more, inhaling through the nose. And exhaling out the mouth. So you can just keep your eyes closed, listen to the tune, listen to the words. If you're brand new to chanting, I will put the words down um, in, the, in the text below the video so that you can see that. It's easier for me to visualize it and then know what the words are. So just allow yourself to keep your eyes closed. Feel the vibration of that in your body. If you didn't sing along with, feel free to come back and listen to the recording and sing along with it so you can feel the vibration and the movement in your body. If you play an instrument, you could do that along with it. 
for the expression of that left and right in action. And if there's something else that you do, writing, drawing, painting, something physical with your hands that's on your heart that you want to express, that's going to be another way to help ground that energy. And you can go ahead and open your eyes. So I hope that experience helped you see and feel the movement and how meditation does not have to be just sitting still. This is meditation in action. And that's what this month is calling for us to do. To bring what's in our heart out into the world and to put it into action and let other people see us and feel that vibration that is uniquely ours and we receive a different kind of connection in that way. So I wish you a happy February um, and be well, reach out to your people when you need them. It's not an easy time right now. I feel like February was, or January was pretty intense. There were several days when I just wanted to be on the couch. I did just be on the couch um, because there's a lot of energy moving through right now. And so if you feel like you're a little Looney Tunes, it's totally okay. Reach out to your people, let them know that you need help. And in that way of being vulnerable and visible, we can get our needs met and we can spread and express love in that way. Um, if you want to learn more about me, you can find me at doublemagenta.com and I do intuitive energy healing both in person or on the phone or Skype. And you can go to my website for more information. All right. Happy February. Namaste.